If you want to master how to dress for the beautiful hourglass body type, keep on watching. Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Silvana and today, as per your request, we'll be talking everything about hourglass body type. Before we start though, I'd like to say that I don't like to give body names because even within a determined body shape, there are so many nuances. So for example, if I say an hourglass is such and such and you don't conform exactly to that, you might be confused. At case in point, I'm technically an hourglass body type because I have my shoulders in line with the hips combined with a small waist. However, I don't have a large bust, which is pretty common in hourglass body shapes. And so in some cases, I might be considered a pear body shape, but I have a very athletic upper body, which is not so common in the pear body shapes. So what I'm going to do here is dress for my body shape and give you tips if you defer slightly. So don't you worry. I'll be giving tips along the way so you adjust to your own body type. So let's get started. As per usual, these are just guidelines. I don't want you to think that there are rigid rules. I want you to be your own judge. When it comes to style, the two F words for any body shape is fit and fabric. Size is not important. Color is only secondary as well. What technically determines an hourglass body shape is shoulders or your bust area in line with your hips combined with a defined waist. The golden rule for this body shape is to highlight your waist and not overwhelm either the upper or the lower body part. So the choice of fabrics is extremely important. Choose mid-weight fabrics because stiff fabrics will add unnecessary bulk overwhelm your frame and two thin fabrics that are too pliable will be too unforgiving. That's valid for every body type as well. The key to dressing this body shape is to follow the natural silhouette by proportionally dressing the top and bottom of the body while accentuating the waist. You need to ensure that you don't unbalance the body frame by making it top or bottom heavy. The do's for an hourglass is to choose the right bra in particular to give you the right support for your breast if you have large breasts. That will give you room around your tummy and your bust area and you showcase your already defined waist even more, which is always very slimming. Choose clothes that show off your curvy silhouette. Opt for simple clean garments which don't clutter up the silhouette. You have to avoid drawing the attention to your extreme parts, which are your shoulders and your hips. And that I mean by putting more details to them, like pleats or prominent pockets or anything that will really add volume around the area. As well as your shoulders, don't wear puffy sleeves that are too exaggerated. One thing that you really have to avoid is boxy tops. Any square shape of top, I know no for this body type. As well as any shapeless top. So you see this jacket that I'm wearing, for example, it is very cinched at the waist. That's the kind of top that you're looking for. It can stop right at your waistline. That's no problem there, as long as it's not boxy. Defining and drawing the attention to your waist is one of your main goals. And how do you do that? You can pretty much wear anything, as long as you belt it, preferably in black. Anything that's cinched, that falls right at the waist, this is defining and drawing the attention to your waist. The necklines must not unbalance the natural silhouettes of the hourglass body by either visually widening the shoulder line or adding unnecessary volume to it, example through embellishments. So you don't want to widen your shoulders even more. For example, a bold neck that creates that long line across your shoulders is very widening. Avoid that kind of neckline. Big scoops, v-necks are your best bets if you have large bust. If you don't have large bust like me, you can wear anything that's more covered. Turtlenecks is even better. Slightly rounded styles are great, such as oval, rounded or dual necklines, because they're not extremely wide or narrow. They don't draw the attention to them. Lower and wider necklines, such as scoop or sweetheart necklines, will show off your bust. 
If you don't want to show off your bust, opt for slimmy necklines, like a V neckline. Look for shirts that will accentuate your waist and maintain the balanced look of the hourglass shape. Example tops should be fitted. They should nip at the waist without adding bulk to your chest. Like anything else, it's all about that waist for the hourglass body. This shape is already very proportionate, so the goal is to maintain that proportionality and not lose it in excessive fabric. A lightweight, form-fitting sweater is the best option, especially since it highlights your curves. Lightweight fabrics and fine knits will complement your shape by highlighting your silhouette. Avoid chunky, heavy knits and loose sweaters that hide the natural hourglass shape. Form fitting and belted jackets are great. Single breasted jackets are best since they don't add extra bulk as double breasted jackets do. They are quite boxy. Short jackets that stop just above your hips accentuate your curves. If you are petite, stick to shorter jackets that end at your hips. Avoid straight and boxy styles as these don't show your waist and so make you appear heavier. And steer clear of heavy detailing and embellishments that let you appear top heavy. Styles that achieve this are trench coat, long coachman coats, and also A-line coats. To keep the silhouette uncluttered, keep coats simple without too many details or embellishments, which could make you end up looking unbalanced. If you opt for a coat with embellishment around your bust, make sure you add the same amount of the volume around your hips. Wide-legged and loose-feeling trousers that go straight down to the floor are best. Slightly tapered, boot cut or flat out trousers are also good. Trousers should have high waist. Mid waist, low waist styles widen the hips. Avoid pleats, darks and embellishments or pockets around the hips. Keep your trousers on the slimmer side, not too baggy or extremely wide. Bias, A-line skirts, the one that is shaped around the hips and in structure fabrics, that are adjustable at the waist also work well. Voluminous skirts such as full circle or tulip skirt are also great because they make the waist look even smaller. Make sure your skirt is high-waisted to highlight the small waist. The best hemline is knee length or longer. These skirts will hug the hip and hang off them naturally. Avoid boxy and straight skirt styles as well as stiff fabrics. Keep away from skirts with big, voluminous pockets, ruffles, darts, or other embellishments around the hips, unless you balance them with details around the chest. Finally, stay away from low-waist skirts, since they will add bulk to the lower body. Plain dresses that will just follow your curves without adding to them and that highlight your waist are perfect. Wrap dresses are great too, as they create a nice silhouette, accentuate the waist and tailor the midriff without making it too boxy. Ruffles around the shoulders are great for a pair body shape, as they add volume to the shoulder area without you needing to add pads. Opt for A-line skirts in dresses as they bypass the hip area while cinching the waist at the same time. Avoid dresses with straight lines or boxy cuts, since they cover your curves and make you appear heavy. And steer clear of embellishments or pockets in either the hip or shoulder area. Make sure to tuck your top into the shorts for even more definition around the waist. Avoid shorts that are cut straight up, darts and stiff fabrics. And stay away from low-waisted shorts and heavy detailing that wouldn't balance your figure. Jumpsuits for the hourglass body shape should highlight the natural balance of the hourglass figure. Small pleats around the waist can give you a nipped-in look. Belted and form-fitting jumpsuits and play suits are the best to accentuate the natural body line. Avoid too many details and embellishment in the hips or shoulders that would draw the attention to those areas.
So that's it for today. I really hope you find this useful. I'm leaving a link in the description box with some suggestion of items if you're interested. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate your time and I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone.